is the lead singer of the band, Amon Amarth, who you just heard playing under those Caps highlights from Wednesday night. He joins us in studio now. Pretty cool to hear your music under your favorite team or what? Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> How long has Washington been your favorite team? Because, you know, um, band, bandwagon jumpers are just since last June, like, or you've actually no, liked no, them before actually, that? No, like, I've been following the Caps for about 10 years. Um, I didn't really have a favorite NHL team for, like, except maybe the Maple Leafs because I'm a, I'm a big Matt Sundin fan. Okay, Okay, naturally. well, you're in good company because yeah. <laughs> we're both actually from Toronto. Toronto. Okay. <laughs> worked with Mats. I played with Mats. Um, how big of a deal is Mats in Sweden? Uh, if you ask me, he's the best Swedish player ever, but that's um, my opinion. Nick Lidstrom fans might have something I was to say about I was But I like it. I appreciate yeah. the sure. <laughs> I was very sad when Matt Sundin left the Toronto Maple Leafs. I grew up a Leafs fan, so that was like one of those moments for me, uh, which is fitting on the day that John Tavares uh, returns uh, yeah. to the island to face his former team. Uh, but obviously, you've got a connection to hockey, but tell us about the band. Well, the band is, uh, we're a Swedish metal band, um, and we've been around for about 25 years um, playing um, what you, I guess, it, it's more like traditional heavy metal, but it's like a kind of a death metal mix in there. Okay, okay, I'm into it. You see, this looks very, this looks very metal <laughs> here, this picture. I, I assume that was planned that way. Yes, <laughs> yeah. it's very, very laid out and planned out everything. Do you like photo shoots? Or like, are you all, oh, always this serious, I, or? I'm, I'm, I, I hate photo shoots. So when they say, <laughs> hey, so when they say too, give me. me the mean face, so this is something we do in hockey as well. We do like the promo shots for the year. And of course, I can't look mean. Look, like obviously, but <laughs> they say so. They give the tough face. You obviously yeah. come to it a little bit easier. But I mean, we've been doing this for so long now. It's almost impossible to do, to do a normal face on it. Actually, <laughs> it's like. And how long have you been doing this? The same it's the like band? Twenty-five years. And how many albums so far? Oh, uh, eleven. So yeah. Oh There's a couple goodness. of photo shoots in there. Eleven yeah. albums. Yeah. That's. And crazy. how many days on tour have you spent in the last twenty years? Oh. Too, Lots. Too many to yes, count, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. Oh, you I know how it is as a hockey player, though. <laughs> it is, although we don't, play, I mean, when you guys go on tour, you'll do, you know, five shows in a week or something, yeah. as opposed to at least we get a couple days off in between. That's true. Uh, the physical strain on it, we were talking earlier, being a lead singer, being in the band, period, it's a very physical endeavor. Yes, it is. It is. It, it's it's tough on the body, especially when you get a little bit older. You know, you kind of have to is, stay in yes. shape and all that stuff. But. I don't know what you guys are talking yeah. about. I have no. Uh, yeah, you can't relate. I, You're I young. Can't it's relate. okay. Yeah. You'll get there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> well, Johan, I understand that you actually play hockey as well. So that's kind of where your connection to yeah. the game stems from. Yeah, I, I started playing hockey when I was six years old uh, in Sweden and um, for a small team south of Stockholm, and I played. I played. Up until I was uh, 19, and then I stopped. And oh yeah, you can see me skating oh, look at there. This. Out, How out did we the break lake. down the stride here, Johan? That's yeah, that's 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 me skating for the first time in about two years. <laughs> Pretty though on the lake. Or yeah, river. It's, oh, it it's on a lake gorgeous. here near where I live. So. So I'm doing the silly fly thing. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but wearing a helmet, safety first. I Mixing in a little that. figure skating, you know? Yeah. Why not? And then we're your favorite. I played in Sweden in 2004 when yeah. there was a workshop at year. I played for. Uh, Faristad, which is in a town called Karlstad. Yep. I was hoping that was your favorite team. It is nope. not. No, no, I'm from Stockholm, so it's your Garden. Garden, which yeah. is actually our main rival. Yes. Although, to, truth be told, the year I was there, Jackie, we knocked your Garden out of the playoffs. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Yeah, Why don't you brag about it? We, well, we didn't win the whole thing. We lost <laughs> the finals, but still. You should have been there a couple of years earlier than you were going to win one two years in a row. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. true enough. I only, I only know my experience. That's all I got is when I was there. Yeah. So how did you become a fan of the Washington Capitals? Why that team? Well, it's 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 interesting because uh, when we, uh, it's it's actually thanks to my wife. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay, explain. Uh, yeah, so she, she wanted to get into hockey or she wanted to watch hockey because my brother used to be the physiotherapist for the Swedish national team. Okay. So, um, so we watched the, uh, the Olympics, and she thought it was amazing. And then she wanted wanted to watch more hockey. And so, where, where's the be best hockey? And I said, Well, it's in NHL. That's the best league in the world. So, yeah, let's watch that. And then, all right. So, what what team? What team? And she liked the Russian players. Okay. And the best Russian player at the time, obviously, was Ovechkin. So. Right. She decided that we should follow Ovechkin, so we did. And, and it uh, worked and out well. It I worked mean, out really eventually, well. after 10 years, you got to witness a cup yes. win. Where were you yes. for the Stanley Cup final? Uh, actually, I was at a friend's summer house right near uh, a, a heavy metal festival called Sweden Rock in, in Sweden. So. It was. And did you celebrate like you'd won it? <laughs> of course we did. Absolutely. By I mean, watching, you cannot. Uh, so if you're a fan watching, of Washington, you've celebrated hard this yeah, past spring, by watching spring, Black summer. Sabbath, so, you know. Oh, double down. Or, sorry, <laughs> Oz, yeah. like Ozzy Osbourne, actually. Yes, so, there, yeah. you, there it is. <laughs> and, and your wife has another tie-in to hockey a little bit, and that yes. she is, 
works with some yoga instruction, but also mm -hmm. yoga specifically for some goaltenders. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, goaltenders and hockey players and athletes in general, I guess. But she's uh, she developed this uh, uh, t type of yoga, which is really good for hockey players to relax and extend their muscles okay. in a safe way. Uh, so she's working with the local SHL team where, we, where mm -hmm. I live, which is Örebro. Um, they weren't in the league when you were playing, unfortunately. But Örebro uh, is how yeah, we would say yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yes. But you passed through there probably a couple we times. We drove through there on the yeah. bus, yes. So, uh, yeah, she, so she works with them. And a couple of years ago, she also did a, a, a goalie camp in Colorado together with uh, 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 Michael Garman and uh, Ben Scriven. Okay. So yeah. So okay. Nice. Yeah. Some notable names. Uh, I understand you guys actually have a jersey with your band on it. There's yes. like a band esque <laughs> jersey. We're showing a picture yeah. of it right now on the screen. Uh, how does this do for merch sales? Is it popular? Uh, this particular one actually we thought would do a little bit better than it did. <laughs> but we had one earlier that was black and just had uh, that one Marth A on it. Okay. Uh, but actually, I think when we traveled the United States, we went for like the old school, like 80s look. Mm -hmm. Jersey. Sure. Um, but it turns out like, a, lot, a lot of fans thought it was like Rangers jersey. Oh, so it does right. look very Rangers esque. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You well, you know what? We'd love to have one at the studio to sort of right, commemorate well, your visit. We'll so if you want to wanna send out. us one, uh, we'll hang it up somewhere uh, in the hallways. But before we let you go, where can fans find you? I assume you're on all forms of social We're media. We're all, all forms of social media. We have the website as well and, and everything. So, yeah. All and right. whenever the new album drops, we'll have to go make sure to tune it. Check it of out, course. download stream it, stream it, it stream whatever it. whatever you I do. Prefer the yeah. Whatever the kids option. do nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the record store, I'm going to buy some vinyl. Uh, yes. The yes. band is Amata Marth, and you can find them on all social media channels as well as anywhere you stream music.